Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to take a look at conversions. But before we get started, we gotta get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready? Let's get started. Right there, conversions. Let's begin by first looking at some equivalent relationships of length. 12 inches equals one foot. That's because there are 12 inches in one foot. Three feet equals one yard. That's because there's three feet in one yard. 5,280 feet equals one mile. That's because there's 5,280 feet in one mile. And one inch exactly equals 2.54 centimeters. Here's our first problem right here. Convert 3,500,000 inches to miles. Now conversion problems involve taking a given quantity and then multiplying it by conversion factors. These conversion factors are sometimes called unit fractions. Now, the conversion factors are arranged in such a way that it takes your given dimension and converts it to a desired dimension. It's like putting together a puzzle. And if you think of it that way, it's actually fun. All right, let's get started. First, we take our given quantity, 3,500,000 inches, and write it as a fraction. That means we simply put it over one. Now, we bring in our first conversion factor our first conversion factor is going to convert our inches to feet using the equivalent relationship 12 inches equals one foot. Now this is how it's done. Notice we put the dimensions of inches in, our, in the denominator of our conversion factor. That's because we want those inches to cancel. Now we put feet in the numerator. The numeric values that go in our conversion factor come from our equivalent relationship and they require the ratio of feet to inches because we put feet on the top and inches on the bottom. And the ratio of feet to inches is one to 12. Notice the dimensions of inches cancel, leaving us with dimensions of feet. So how did we know to first convert to feet? Well, that's the puzzle. We started with inches, and I know if I go from inches and then convert to feet, I can then convert the feet to miles using the equivalent relationship 5,280 feet equals one mile. So let's bring in our next conversion factor. And this conversion factor is going to convert those feet to miles. So here it is. Notice we put the dimensions of feet on the bottom because we want those feet to cancel. We put miles up in the numerator. And now the numeric values have to represent the ratio of miles to feet. And that comes from our equivalent relationship. There are 5,280 feet in one mile. So the ratio of miles to feet is one to 5,280. Notice the feet cancel. Now notice we are left with the dimensions of miles because that's what we wanted to get to. And now we just have to perform our calculation. Now get your calculator out, Charlie. Now, to perform this calculation with your calculator, you would put in 3,500,000 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 12 times 1 divided by 5,280. We are working left to right. But remember, multiplying or dividing a number by 1 does not change its value. So we can disregard ones. So all we have to do is remember that when you have numbers on the bottom, they have to be divided out. So here's how you will enter this calculation into your calculator, Charlie. Here we go. You take 3,500,000, you divide by 12, and then you divide by 5,280, and that should give you 55.2399. In this video, we will round off all of our answers to the nearest one thousandths. So our answer here will be 55 and 240 one thousandths miles. That completes our first conversion problem. Let's do another one. Here we go, convert 15 yards to centimeters. Now, what's our plan? We're starting with yards. So we're first gonna take our yards and go into feet. Once we get into feet, we're gonna go into inches. And once we get to inches, then we can now convert to centimeters. So let's begin by first writing our given quantity as a fraction, 15 yards over one. Now we bring in our first conversion factor. This first conversion factor is going to convert yards to feet. Notice we put yards on the bottom, feet on the top. 
Now, our conversion factor requires numeric values, and those numeric values have to represent the ratio of feet to yards, because we put feet on the top and yards on the bottom. And so the ratio of feet to yards is 3 to 1. Notice the dimensions of yards cancel, and we are now in feet. Now, our next conversion factor is going to convert feet to inches using the equivalent relationship. 12 inches equals 1 foot. Notice we put feet on the bottom, inches on the top. Now we require the ratio of inches to feet, and that ratio is 12 to 1. Notice the dimensions of feet cancel, leaving us with inches. We're almost home because we're trying to get to centimeters, so we need one more conversion factor. And this conversion factor is going to convert inches to centimeters. Notice we put the dimensions of inches on the bottom, centimeters on top. And the ratio of centimeters to inches is 2.54 to 1. Notice inches cancel out and we're left with the dimensions of centimeters, which is what we wanted. Now, Charlie, get your calculator ready. To perform this calculation, notice all the numbers are on top. We just multiply. So 15 times 3 times 12 times 2.54. What'd you get, Charlie? 1,301.6. That's right. So his answer is rounded to the nearest tenth. But we want our answers rounded to the nearest one thousandths. So we need to add two zeros, and so our answer is 1,371 and 600 one thousandths centimeters. There we go. Let's do another one. Here we're asked to convert 65 miles per hour to feet per second. Now, in this problem, we are given a rate because it's 65 miles per hour. Now, if you're driving the road at 65 miles per hour, you may want to know how many feet per second is that? Everybody wants to know. As a matter of fact, somebody asked me that this morning. What? Anyway, this is slightly different because we're converting from one rate to another rate. That means we have to convert two dimensions in one problem. We have to convert miles to feet, but we also have to convert hours to seconds. Now notice, hours are given in the denominator, so that's going to affect the way we arrange our conversion factors. Watch. Let's begin with our, our given quantity, which in this case is a rate. It's 65 miles per one hour. Now, our first conversion factor is going to work on the miles. It's going to convert the miles to feet. Notice here, we put miles on the bottom, feet on the top. And now, we require the ratio of feet to miles, and that comes from our equivalent relationship. And the ratio of feet to miles is 5,280 to 1. Notice the units of miles cancel out. Now, at this point, our units are feet per hour. So if we were to take 65 and multiply by 5,280, the units would be feet per hour but we don't want feet per hour. We want feet per second. So now, we have to convert those hours to seconds. Now remember, hours are given on the bottom. So that's going to affect the way we arrange our conversion factor. We're first going to convert those hours to minutes. Remember, there are 60 minutes in one hour. So here's our conversion factor that's going to convert hours to minutes. But notice, we put the dimensions of hour on the top because we need those hours to cancel. We put minutes on the bottom, and now we require the ratio of hour to minutes. And that ratio is 1 to 60, because 1 hour equals 60 minutes. Notice the units of hours cancel out, and at this point, our units are now feet per minute, but we want feet per second, so we have to convert those minutes to seconds. So we need one more conversion factor, and here it is. Notice we put minutes on the top, because we need those minutes to cancel. We put second on the bottom. Now there are 60 seconds in one minute, but our conversion factor requires the ratio of minutes to seconds, because minutes is on the top and seconds is on the bottom. And the ratio of minutes to seconds is 1 to 60. Finally, minutes cancel out. Notice we're left with units of feet on the top, and units of seconds on the bottom, and that's what we wanted. Now, all we need to do is perform our calculation, Charlie. So here we go. We take 65 times 5,280 divided by 60, divided by 60, and what did you get, Charlie? 
95.3333. Very nice. And so we will round that to the nearest one thousandths. We get 95 and 333 one thousandths feet per second. So that's how fast you are moving when you're moving 65 miles per hour. All right, that was a lot of work. So I think we need to take a break before we start getting into area and volume, right? So let's take a quick break. All right, break's over. Let's get started again. Here we go. Let's deal with area. So up there is our equivalent relationships for length. Length is one dimension, but area is two dimensions. So how do we get the equivalent relationships of area from the equivalent relationships of length? What you do is you square both sides. So if we take the relationship 12 inches equals one foot and square both sides, we get the relationship 144 square inches equals one square foot. Let's take the relationship three feet equals one yard and square both sides. That gives us the relationship nine square feet equals one square yard. That means if you had one square yard of area, you could fit nine square feet in that one square yard. If we take one inch equals 2.54 centimeters and square both sides, we get the equivalent relationship one square inch equals 6.4516 square centimeters. Well, what about volume? Volume is three dimensions. That means we need to take our equivalent relationships of length and cube both sides. So let's do that. If we take 12 inches equals one foot, cube both sides, we get 1,728 cubic inches equals one cubic foot. If we take three feet equals one yard, cube both sides, we get 27 cubic feet equals one cubic yard. And finally, we'll take one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, cube both sides, and we get one cubic inch equals 16.387064 cubic centimeters. Okay, let's do two more conversions. The first will deal with area, and the last will deal with volume. Here we go, convert two square yards to square centimeters. We start by taking our given quantity, writing it as a fraction. Our first conversion factor is going to convert square yards to square feet. Notice we put square yards on the bottom, square feet on the top, and the ratio of square feet to square yards is nine to one. Notice square yards cancel out. So here's my plan. We start with square yards, we go to square feet, then we go to square inches and we finally go to square centimeters. So my next conversion factor is going to convert square feet to square inches. Notice we put square feet on the bottom, square inches on the top, and the ratio of square inches to square feet is what, Charlie? 144 one. Very nice there, Charlie. Nice recovery there. Notice the square feet cancel out. At this point we are in square inches, but we're trying to get to square meters, so we need one more conversion factor. And this conversion factor is going to convert square inches to square centimeters. We put square inches on the bottom, square centimeters on the top, and the ratio of square centimeters to square inches is 6.4516 to 1 square inches cancel, and we're left with dimensions of square centimeters, which is what we wanted. And to perform our calculation, we just take 2 times 9 times 144 times 6.4516. What'd you get, Charlie? 16,722.547. Very nice there, Charlie. And that is rounded to the nearest one thousandths. And that is our answer. Okay, let's do one more problem. And now we're going to convert volume. Here we're asked to convert five cubic meters to cubic feet. Well, what are we actually doing here? Let's take a cube or a box that has side length one meter. And the relatively smaller box is, has a side length of one foot. Now what we're really trying to figure out here is how many of these boxes that are one foot by one foot by one foot will fit into five of these larger boxes that are each have a side length of one meter. And so we begin by taking our given relationship, five cubic meters, and writing it as a fraction. But before we do this problem, we have to review some of the metric system. Remember that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And if we cube both sides, one cubed or one cubic meter is equal to 100 cube cubic centimeters. We're gonna need that equivalent relationship for this problem. So here we have our given quantity written as a fraction. 
Now our first conversion factor is going to convert cubic meters to cubic centimeters. And we go to that equivalent relationship to find our ratio. The ratio of cubic centimeters to cubic meters is 1 million to 1 because 100 cube is actually 1 million. Notice cubic meters cancel out. So now we are in the units of cubic centimeters. Now from cubic centimeters, we're going to go to cubic inches. And once we get to cubic inches, we can then go to cubic feet. So notice our next conversion factor is going to convert cubic centimeters to cubic inches. Notice we put cubic centimeters in the bottom so that they will cancel out. Cubic inches on top and looking at our equivalent relationship, the ratio of cubic inches to cubic centimeters is 1 to 16.387064. Cubic centimeters cancel out. Now, we have one more conversion factor. We've got to convert those cubic inches to cubic feet. Notice we put cubic inches on the bottom, cubic feet are on top, and the ratio of cubic feet to cubic inches comes from up there. It's 1 to 1,728. Cubic inches cancel out, and we are left with units of cubic feet, and that's what we wanted. And so, to perform this calculation in your calculator, Charlie, you enter 5 times 1 million divided by 16.387064 divided by 1,728, and what did you get, Charlie? What are 76.57333? Very nice there, Charlie. Now, we will round our answer to the nearest one thousandths, and we get 176 and 573 one thousandths cubic feet. So what does this mean? It means that we can take 176 of these cubic feet boxes and place them into five of these cubic meter boxes. So that's it for now. And after that, we hope to see you again soon.